found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Hello and welcome back to some more Hitman 3. This is part 5 of our Sant Assassin walkthrough uh, and today we're in Argentina. That was a great uh, opening um, briefing there. Uh, rendezvous with Diana Birdwood, uh, Burnwood in Mendoza and ascertain her allegiance. Okay, so we'll get to see whether she is actually going to... Um, <laughs> whether she is going to kill us. Um, or, you know... At the very least, portrayals. So we'll get the white uh, pistol out again. Although, to be fair, we don't really need it. But I do like to to bring a, bring it along anyway. Uh, as before, we're going to bring the lockpick instead of coins. And uh, yeah, that's that's what we'll go for. So the winery viewpoint is where we'll go uh, into start. And uh, as always, we'll get into it. So hopefully you guys are good. If you are enjoying the series so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. And subscribe for regular Let's Plays, new and old. Is that her? An idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't That's be her, isn't it? I don't like this. That's one of the targets, I'm sure. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got. Oh, see the cut out there. No, no idea why. Come find me when it's Should done. Killer. Good luck, forty-seven. No, we can't. I mean, we probably could, but it would be a terrible idea. I'm kind of curious to see what would happen. Do not eliminate Diana Burnwood. There you go. So we'd probably fail. So. Yeah, I mean this is uh, this is interesting. It's definitely interesting. I feel like she is playing us a bit, fancying her to 
betray us at this point, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We've got the white tuxedo looking like uh, Bond in Goldfinger, an octopusy as well. I think the view to Achilles wears a white white tuxedo. He does, yeah, he, do, he definitely does. And of course, Spectre. Can't think of any other films that he wears a white tuxedo in. She's been living alone here for what six years, ever since the scandal that ruined her career. But, uh, so we can get in that way. I'm um, assuming we're not allowed in this way. Let's see. Degree turn, man. Back the way you came. Okay. Yeah. Anything over here of use? Every time one of those brave guards walks past me, my shoulders get all dense. And they're walking around like they own the place. Mr. Yates? No. Good enough, it's Aaron, sir. Let from the firm. Get out I came as quickly as I could. Hey. Yes, sir, I have the files. Hard there, right? Sorry it took so long, Where but I it? had Where to access it? our remote server to print everything, and I, I couldn't get my VPN to... Right. Sorry, sir. I'll be right inside. Okay. The junior partner. <clears throat> Don Yates has urgently summoned a junior partner from Morgan Yates and Corn of the estate. The attorney um, was also there when Alexa Carlisle died. Ah, interesting. So he's the guy that we subdued. I wonder what would have happened if we'd killed him. I'm curious now, but there you go. So there is three mission stories. Again, uh, a distinct lack of mission stories in this game. I'm sorry to burst your bubble of finely aged cynicism, but the Yates are getting crazy. I feel like we're going to get frisked. Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Oh, we're okay. Right then, let's work out. Would you care for an aperitif? Thank you. So, you must know everything that goes on at the event. Care to give me the lowdown? Mm, let's see. Most of the guests have already arrived. And let me tell you, it's like a Forbes 500 convention in there. Most are high-profile clients of Morgan, Yates and Corn. But the Yates are still no shows. Word is, they're still up at the house. They haven't made an entrance yet. Curious. Any idea why? Well, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but word is that Yates was in a great mood this morning, but that all changed when the letter arrived. The letter? Yeah. An honest-to-God letter delivered by courier. I mean, who writes letters anymore? Anyway, it must have been bad news, because Senor Yates heard the plant off the balcony. Big heavy one, too. It almost hit Isabel, one of the maids who had to go lie down. Oh. Anything else? The party is not the only thing happening at the estate. The winery is open for guests, too. You should check it out if you're interested in winemaking. It's harvest season, after all. I might just do that. Thank you for your time, miss. Right. Pleasant evening, senor. There we go. Nice to talk to her. Thank God it's finally over. That extra security detail was driving my wife insane. Oh, Hello there. Thank you for stopping by. Are you ready for the grand tour? Who else will be attending? Let it's the damnedest thing. That's yeah. Diana. Like Yourself, Miss Vidal, and a Mr. Corvall Black, an employee of Mr. Yates from the New York office. He hasn't checked in with us yet. Would you like us to call him for you? That won't be necessary. We'll go at our own pace. No problem. Think about it. I will tell Duval Mr. Vargas, chief winemaker, to expect your arrivals. He was forced to come to What do you make of this? Well, Yates wants us out of the way. There's a reason we are the only help going on this tour of his. He's buying time. The question is, for what? I wouldn't be surprised if he retract this statement. Appoint a Providence back successor. Hey, how are you? There's a camera there. We do not want to go into that. I saw those stunning pictures of the fresco you commissioned for your son's nursery. Gorgeous stuff. I'd love to have something similar. Okay. Some barrels down there. There's a mission story over there, so let's go and find out what that is. 
We're talking knee deep. The whole place looked like a horror flick. Of course, Gates came down and tore the poor sod in charge of the tax a new one. You'd think there was some kind of failsafe mechanism or early warning system in place. Yeah, you would, but you'd be wrong. If the pumps malfunction, the tanks overflow. That pretty much sums it up. So, pay attention to that pump flow. Unless you're in the market for an extra orifice. <sighs> Lightning never strikes twice. We'll be fine. These fermentation tanks are accident prone. If the pump malfunctions, the tanks overflow. This has happened before, provoking an appearance from Don Yates. It's likely to happen again. Okay. So I'm going to follow this guy. To the wise, Ace. You might want to keep an eye on the pump when you're controlling the facility. Why is that? Because last time the dam we malfunctioned. Okay, still going this way. There's a guy coming this way. Hopefully, he's not gonna come all the way. Nope. It's okay. Disguise ourselves as one of the workers. Okay, he seems to be coming this way. over here. There's a short answer to that one. I'll drag his body over here. I think that should be alright. Find a screwdriver. Looks like there's one up there. Okay. I don't think anyone's going to find that body. Okay, we'll head up this way. This is the barrel route. Control terminal a is a screwdriver there, I think. Take a look. Just don't touch it. One of the guards placed a smoke BLT sandwich in the ventilation filter. The whole facility smelt of bacon for a week, and Mrs. Yates is a vegan. He does not. Oh, bless sir. Thanks. <laughs> also, a ventilation system. Okay, cool. Let's see, going. Okay. 
screwdriver, nice. And we can head down that way. Anything else of interest? <coughs> Don't think so. Ah, he's gonna sit down. Hopefully he's gonna go to sleep. Should be able to make it, to be fair. Can we pick up soda can? Okay, cool. Right. This guy we need to avoid. Find a wrench. Don't tell me there's a wrench up there as well. I don't really know why I came down here. Bottle of wine there. There's bound to be one in here, surely. What's that? Icicle! Oh, that could be an awesome melee kill later on. It's got to be a, a wrench. What about over here? Is that a wrench? That's a knife. Might as well get ourselves fit though. What's that? That's a key. Something over there. What's that? A hobby knife? There's another key there. Another bottle of wine. What's that? A fuse cell. Okay. Aha. A wrench over here, I think. Wasn't that? Yep, yeah, there. It's close. Expose the electric wire. to turn around. Don't think he's going to. Right, turn to throw a soda can over there. Okay, so we can turn on this high voltage thing and electrocute everyone that's in the vicinity of the of the plug. I'm hoping that he's gonna send them all away. That I can only assume is a bold and poignant tribute to man's boundless stupidity. See. Who wants to tell my wife? 
Okay, so he's on the floor the now. News, the sweet Valentina, that someone took a giant piss all over her ancestral vineyard. Nobody, no volunteers to break my wife's heart. Well, what do you know? All right, show's over, people. Clear the floor. There's no okay. way you'll clean this mess up by hand. Oh, are they going? Somebody get Mr. Vargas a towel and a shot of horse tranquilizer. How many millions? Yeah. Okay, and they're going. First, the bird would be. Here we go. Yes. Okay, let's go. Back into the fray. Come on. Here we go. I think we've hopefully just got him. We've done it. He's down. One more to go. Slightly careful of this body being found. I'm just going to drag him further this way. Okay. Did not sign up. Uh -huh. I was very close. We're okay. Whew. Okay, nice. He's down as well, which is good. So Let's get ourselves a bit of Tamara Vidal. Tell me you didn't promise. Tell me you didn't forget the asado torch. Okay. I didn't forget the asado torch, Miguel. But you did, though. Didn't you, Pablo? Hello, Why sir. Why do you have to be such a baby all the time? Mr. Yates gave up. What are we supposed to do? I'm afraid you don't have the right clearance. I'm sure it's not a baby. Look, I'm not going to expect you. Just find another door. Don't care how. Or we'll have to stop. My mother preferred him. I could use a smoke for being quiet about now. I wonder what the hold up is. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm getting awfully tired of this. Okay, so there's Diana. Tactical food trend. Whatever happened there's to Tamara? Fish buffets. I take it Edwards told you to chaperone me. Any idea why? You know why. Trust is earned. Until Edwards is satisfied you're not sailing under a false flag, I will be his eyes and ears. I meant why you? I suppose I'm more perceptive than most. You're also very loyal. My guess is Edwards' decision to make me a herald is not too popular with the other heralds. We were at war about five minutes ago. Some people are funny like that. But not you. I admire the craft, the audacity. Everyone said Providence was untouchable and along you came. The way I see it, you did us a service. That's cold. Already? I like you more already. To show you. In town. Get them to deliver another 200 pounds of oil and macadamia. Now. 
Okay. It's gonna be tough, this. Why are you here, Burnwood? Didn't you know? I have tango fever. Thing is, nobody held a gun to your head. Why did you take his offer? It was time for a change. I'll say. Learning the truth about your partner. Harsh. But you see, I've read your ICA profile. All those years, you never took a contract for money or glory. Only to serve. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. It's a Okay. Right, let's disguise ourselves as him. Why not? Need to keep an eye on him though. He's heading that way. Hi. Uh, whatever. Okay, where's he off? Heading up here. I'm more of a beer man myself, but if Yates wants to bring the heralds closer together and play the modern boss, I, I don't actually mind. Edwards always was a bit of a loser. Plus, he has good reason to be confident. He is a Okay, he's heading over here. Why are you here, Bernard? Didn't you know? I have tango fever. Thing is, I nobody held a gun to your head. Why did you take his offer? It was time for a change. I say. <clears throat> Learning the truth about your partner. Mm, it's no real. You see. Wait, sir. Your ICA profile. Take him down. Years, never took a and hide his body. Only to serve your personal brand of vigilance. Could try and hide him in the plant there, but those who write about the law, it seems yourself, risky. Oh, this is a chance. Can we get him? Apparently not. Come on, give me a. <laughs> Okay, we got him. I figure Hopefully I his body is very much concealed in there. Right, what else can we pick up? Anything that he had? I don't... Doesn't look like it. Right, so we got to go and talk to reception. Looking good today, sir. Couple of old money scions. Ingram and... Okay, here we go. Hello there. I'm Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right, Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. Okay, join the other guests. So I think head out and then down. Yeah, we need 
get down there somehow. see some stairs down that way. Beautiful view, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the missions, um, you know, feel like they hark back to old missions, particularly from Blood Money. This one, obviously, reminds me of the Vineyard mission in that. It's, it's, it's very nice. I don't know whether it was intended or not, but definitely feels that way but uh, yeah here we go there's Diana over here and you two must be Burnwood and Vidal and you must be Yates's garbage man sorry but I didn't catch your name this is Corvo Black Tamara he's the ICA regular I only work with the best well we're all here it seems except for our guide the chief winemaker Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. Atta boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. Let me down one day and said... Now, what am I doing here? Oh, I see. I don't know What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? As if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. I Big shot New York lawyer like that. You don't get on the bad side. Well. I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yeze doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Okay. Seriously, who takes another man? We were in a, a grey picking uniform before, apparently. Which is interesting. There we go. Pick three grapes of the Malbec variety. Here we go then. Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, now. Let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. Seeds brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. 
Why? I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to conduct. Will do. And let's be quick. Ah, my fellow wine lover. Hello. Hey, Welcome to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay. But the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker. And I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this mm. year's crop. Great expectations. So Yo. how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on the steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Okay, so we've opened that up and tested it. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. These big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser before the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. Okay. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add that grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically red and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Oh, go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. Okay. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. Okay. Yes, Diana. <gasps> oh dear. No, all good. Looks like. Oh, the that's bottom. disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. What happened to your colleague? Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think. She can I talk to her? Or not? Doesn't look like it. No? Well, I assume we just get out of here then. Right, where's the exit? Is it upstairs? 
have no idea. But we should go and get our tuxedo back, which is upstairs, I believe. So let's head back out. Let's get out of here. That was a, such a gross but fantastic kill. Hampson, Somebody will be drinking that in that wine. Oh dear. Hello, sir. Alright. So we could do with heading up again. Um, do want to get our suit back. If possible. I think, yeah, we have to go into here. And then head to the exit. It's weird that we don't have any music. You usually do get some music no, they were at the end. But, uh... There you go. Right, it was over here, I think. The disguise. There we go. Nice. Right, let's get out of here then. Let's get out of here in our tux. And uh, it's as if nothing ever happened, and it should be Silent Assassin. We weren't spotted at all, and nobody found any bodies. So let's get out of here. Damn. Two accident kills as well. Not often you get to do that, but there she is. Hello there. 47. Tango with her. Oh dear. Here we go. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. Okay, brilliant. Right, let's see what we've unlocked then. So, Silent Assassin, Eliminate, a Thick Must. A couple of the mission stories, which is awesome. One last tango. Okay, cool. And there you go, five star Silent Assassin. Number 316 of 500. Go and uh, you can see lots of accident kills, unnoticed kills. Very nice. Oh no. Whew. I think we're okay. Right. We'll just go next straight away before it disconnects again. Lots of different unlocks there. You can pause it if you want to see. Necessary evil. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether Brand's neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. 
This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is it... <sighs> I don't know, is he dead? Or is there... Is there going to be one more twist in the tale? There's certainly one more mission in Romania. Who knows what that is? Um, but yeah, are we are we dead? Or is it going to be something similar to when we uh, played Hitman Blood Money? If you've if you've played that game, wow. Well, oh, I wasn't expecting that. But if you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for uh, a full. Silent Assassin walkthrough of the Hitman trilogy and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.